Hello and welcome to another camera review. Today I want to discuss about the hybrid system that the Nikon D850 is to have and that is the optical versus the electronic viewfinder and that means a new type of system that has going to make a big change in the market. Now a lot of people dismiss the fact that that DSLR systems are very efficient and very well uh, made and they are the what they what is being used currently in a lot of this uh, photography fields including sports photography action photography and many other and you if you look at the professionals they still use the DSLR system and a lot of other people that are getting into videos and other things are shying away from the DSLR saying that the mirrorless system is best well the thing is there is a happy medium that you can have both of the world in combining into one bringing you the both elements into one compact design that is going to make a major difference in the way we use cameras in the future and that is the fact that we can have optical viewfinder along with the electronic viewfinder now some of you may know what the advantages of the electronic viewfinder is but let's first talk about the optical viewfinder which is what we have as DSLR systems you see when we look we're looking through a mirror and seeing what we are going to acquire in front of us as far as framing is concerned but when you have an electronic viewfinder you're going to get exposure you're going to get a lot of other features that are going to come with it now Nikon has had this technology for quite a long time if you do your research and you find out what Nikon has patented you can see that this was patented in 2013 and we are seeing that that technology being installed and being incorporated into this new camera and rightfully so this being the 100 year anniversary of Nikon they're gonna bring us something exceptional and it is taunted as the replacement for the D810 so we first of all we're gonna get a lot of megapixels that means gonna bring us a lot of sharpness and a lot of detail when we are looking at images but more importantly we're gonna have the chance to use many other features that we all been waiting for which is the one that is in the electronic viewfinder you see electronic viewfinders have for example focus speaking focus speaking is so important especially if you are in the video business if you're doing filming with your camera and that means that you are able to focus those older lenses and get very accurate sharp photographs also if you are a photographer you are able to use those older Zeiss lenses or the Nikon lenses and get amazing images and this is partly because you are able to get very accurate focusing a lot of people talk about getting focusing with uh, by using their eyesight but eyesight can be mistaken and that is because if you have a very shallow depth of field if you're shooting at f1.4 f1.2 or f0.95 those are very shallow depth of fields so that means that when you are focusing and you do not have focus confirmation from the older lenses that means you're not going to get very accurate photographs even if you did have focus speaking uh, in the new cameras you're going to see that this is going to be combined with the optical viewfinder and it's going to give you the both of those worlds that has both of their advantages so let's talk about first of all that optical viewfinder optical viewfinder was very good it was the staple for a lot of reasons and if you are for example photographing uh, actions uh, and sports photography this was the way to be shot and you could hear the click 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 sound when you place the shutter now a lot of people are going to wedding photography and they want to for example to photograph bride and groom getting married but they don't want to have that sound affecting the ceremony so you don't want to go click 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 sound when you are for example photographing the bride and groom yeah, announcing their their vows so what has happened the electronic viewfinder is bringing a new feature in there you can have silent uh, shutter what that means is that you will not hear sound that will allow you to photograph beautifully and more importantly it gives you to see what your exposure is going to be what your final Im image is going to be before you even have to press that shutter and also before as as filmmakers or videographers we had to look at that stupid LCD screen that was very small and we could not capture all the details 
and know that we had sharp accurate focus because of the 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 exposure in the environment maybe it was a sunny day or that it was a very small tiny screen so you couldn't tell now we can look through the electronic viewfinder setting and be able to see what the image is going to look like and we don't have to rely exclusively on the LCD. Also, if you look at the D810 specs, the, uh, the highest shutter speed you can have is one eight thousandth of a second. So that was the limitation. You could not use this, this camera beyond that level. Now with the electronic shutter, electronic viewfinder setting, you're gonna be able to push these limits up to probably 36,000. And that means that you are going to have much, much more options when you are doing photography. And as well as if you are going to go out there and you're going to use this, this camera, you're going to have options to use it with the older lenses, the newer lenses. So it becomes a much more viable tool. A lot of people also miss the fact that electronic viewfinder brings in a host of other elements that we would like to have. And those are things that we've been looking as videographers or or photographers and we wanted to combine these two do not mistake the fact that photography is just a genre on itself today magazines video companies and photography sites even the shopping networks uh, the shopping sites they require you to capture some video along with the uh, with the photographs you hand in so you need to deliver both of these commodities to the consumer that is demanding the client that's demanding so if you are able to use your camera to actually capture good footage and deliver your photographs you are ahead of the rest of the of rest of the herd and of course we know that sony has been making big strides making their mirrorless cameras with electronic viewfinder to be the main market player now we are seeing an option where you are getting both the optical viewfinder, the DSLR look, and also the electronic viewfinder combined into one. So all the advantages that Sony had are being transferred into this camera, which is the Nikon D850. And that is a beautiful thing. Now, a lot of people do not understand how this operates. It's very simple. When the optical viewfinder is disengaged and electronic viewfinder is engaged, the mirror is flapped up and the light that is coming in the image that you are seeing that is reflecting on the sensor is being electronically transmitted to electronic viewfinder and that's how we attain the image now a lot of people think that this is going to be changing it doesn't change it's the same way that mirrorless cameras have been operating it is just that we we are removing the mirror from the middle and we are able to see what the electronic viewfinder is going to give us so a lot of people again think that you must have one system or the other well having both systems is wonderful and more importantly think about the outcome see you may have been owning nikon lenses for many years and you've been considering perhaps to switch to another system now you don't have to you can take your nikon lenses and make them useful now nikon does not have to come up with a mirrorless system a mirrorless system means a whole new set of lenses which a lot of professionals may probably will not want to invest because that means you need to get all the prime lenses and the zoom lenses put into the, into your arsenal then now you cannot switch them and all your old dslr lenses you will not be able to use them so what happened now is that you are both able to use your old lenses that you have had for probably uh, a decade or more and also the newer lenses and put them all into one package and better yet, you can take the old uh, AI, AIS type of Nikon lenses and stick them onto this electronic viewfinder capable camera and get focus speaking. You can get amazing results. And I know that this is going to excite a lot of people who are into videographs and making video blogs and everything else. And also, I believe that having a 4K footage coming out of a Nikon is what a lot of people had been demanding. And when that is combined with the electronic viewfinder, you are going to have a one capable camera that is going to deliver results. Now, one thing that you should know is because the, when the mirror flaps up and you're getting electronic viewfinder function uh, operating, what is going to happen is that they're not going to have parts and pieces moving in it. 
so that is going to give you the advantage of very durable camera that is not cost going to cause problems of course the camera is not tested out we haven't seen you know extensive uh, testing done on this especially on the consumer side so we are hoping that all this is going to work perfectly and seamlessly and it should because the simple fact is this mechanism this operational system is very very simple and it's a very uh, efficient way of using a camera and beautifully part about it is i want to use my nikon prime lenses and those are special lenses and i don't want to have to put an adapter and this way i i'm getting rid of the adapter having electronic communication with the camera and able to get very accurate photographs a lot of people think that you know having to take your Nikon lenses and stick them on a Sony is the only solution of getting electronic viewfinder. Now you have the solution. Nikon D850 is going to deliver that. And also, please think about this option. You're getting high megapixels, you're getting uh, 4K footage, you're going to get you're going to get the option of using either electronic viewfinder or optical viewfinder plus that additional uh, you know range of using different shutters. That is going to be wonderful and that is what this all this camera is all about and if you are thinking of you know you have been saving and you're holding your breath for a new camera this is the one this is the one that is going to change the game for nikon and nikon had been slipping in sales it's been slipping a lot of departments but now is their comeback and this is the comeback camera and i'm happy this is coming out i'm the only thing that i would really want is that this camera be launched before the Sony's new A7 series that's going to be Mark III because once that comes in, a lot of people are going to go in that direction, purchase it. And Nikon people, they need to buy this camera before and or pre-order before the Sony comes out. And I'm expecting Sony to come out in the, in the fall. So we should be expecting somewhere between end of September and November, beginning of November that this announcement will come in. And if that comes in and the camera is being able to be purchased online or at least pre-ordered. So I hope this has been an informative review. I will keep you updated on oncoming reviews and tell you all the specs, all the information. And hopefully we're going to show you some sample photographs as soon as the, this camera becomes more available. And I thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and like this video and we'll bring you more updates. I thank you for watching.